Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, and welcome to the final episode of season one of Creeped Out. It feels like I've been doing this for months, which I guess I have. Creeped Out was the first show I actually started on this channel. Yeah, Slapstick, which was episode one of Creeped Out, was the very first episode uh, of a TV show that I did on this channel, so it feels like I've been doing this for such a long time, even though it's only been a couple of months, it feels like forever. And although it's not the most popular show on my channel, I've actually really enjoyed the journey of watching this whole series. I know not everybody watches the whole video, so I just wanted to say that the next video in this series is going to be a ranking of all 13 episodes, from my least favourite to my favourite. So have a think before the next video, let me know what your ranking is as well. And then when I put that video up next week, put your list in the, in the comments and let me know what yours is. So I'm excited to see what happens in the last part of this two-part series, because the first part was intriguing and it left a lot of mysteries open about Ace and his past and this boundary at the, at the casino, <laughs> at the circus carnival place, why can't they leave? The ringmaster's saying it's because he's keeping them in for their protection, but he's not explaining protecting them from what? And then why does that mean they have no memories from before the carnival? None of it's being explained to them. So it all just looked really shady at the moment. Uh, so I really want to know what happens. Let's just jump into the final part of Sideshow to find out. I feel like there's definitely going to be some big twist in this episode and gentlemen, in regards to either they're actually the bad guys, the ringleader's the good guy, the ropes, boss. I don't know, Starting with the boundary. but I'm very interested to find out. Oh, he's actually going to take him out. <laughs> but good luck. I thought maybe he was going to try and find some excuse to not actually take him out in the end, but it looks like they're going. I'm going home. But the kid who plays Ace is a really good actor. I've got high hopes for his future. Uh. Okay. He's got like magic eyeballs. Because I forgot at the very beginning of the first episode of Sideshow, his eye, this uh, this eye was doing like a weird lighting change thing. I forgot to mention it in my review. And also the lights in the sky, what are they about? I never liked these places. Why not? They never liked me. Okay, so it looks like it's set in modern times. But the carnival is just very retro. Where is it? Is this like the village? Have you seen that movie, The Village? We've been driving around this town in circles. I'm sorry. We tried. Don't try and put him off. He's trying to find his family. Oh, we must get back. There! Look! That house in the letterbox. It's all the same. You did pass this house coming into town. Perhaps that's why it made its way into your dreams. No. Shut up, That's you. It. That's my home. Oh, he's got. Oh, he's creepy. Uh, I hope he doesn't turn out to be a good guy because he's just too creepy. I hope things go okay for the ace. Like he seems like a nice kid. We obviously don't know his past. He could be really traumatic. Hello. Mom. I'm sorry. It's me. I'm your son. Dad! I, I, I think he's confused. Oh. Why are you saying this? I don't like it. Forgive his confusion. He's a foundling. He really wanted this to be true. Foundling? What's a foundling? Oh, I feel really uneasy now. There's something not right here. I feel very uneasy about this whole situation. Aww. Well, I wish that the guy who's running is like Zephyrdiah would just tell him. Like he's torturing this child by not talking to him and telling him the truth. He's just saying like cryptic bullshit. The truth is still out there waiting to be found. We just we just have to know where to look for it. If 
Come on, Indigo. Slap some sense into him. Oh, you creepy bitch. Haven't you done enough damage? I don't like him. You just need to know where to look. Or the truth. Hmm. Putting the girls on the case. The fact that you keep a picture of your wife in your left breast pocket. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, you, sorry. he's off now. He's off his game. This is your fault, shitbag. What the hell did she jump from? <laughs> did she fall from the clouds? Oh shit, the bed. Beautiful, aren't they? My collection. Each one has a very special kind of magic. But this one is the most precious of all. It's the very reason why none of your memories are real. You can't stop me from telling them. Uh, well, he will do. On the contrary. What are these weird magic eyeballs all about? Stab him in the cock! How are you all just going along with this? Why is no one putting up a fight? There are some among you who believe I elicit pleasure. Let anyone who refuses to learn should be taught in a different way. Behold the consequences for those who break the rules. Don't do this! Why don't you put up more of a fight? Go on, hit him, grab his cane, and knock the seven stages shit out of him. Get your hands off here. She's not gonna die, is she? No! What happened to her? Oh. But you can't rule with fear, that's never gonna last. Oh. Shit. All these people tried to escape. Oh. He forced them out. It's a drawing of an eye. It's not just any eye. It's Zephyrdias. She was in his caravan. She knows. She risks everything to get. What they need to do is grab like a brick and just so she <laughs> smash him in the face with it. <laughs> I believe her. Not great to like Talking example to show kids, but. For us. He's keeping them prisoner. But what if he didn't? Just grab a hammer and start smashing him now. Treason! Oh, that kind of makes sense now why the creeps out. Uh, the curious had the marbles at the beginning. Go get it. Oh no! Do it! Yes! No barrier now, bitch. No. Crush. No. Is that when the lights were in the sky, or is that when he was taking people's memories? Do you know, maybe taking out Indigo's memories. What? Oh, hi, cutie. So these are all animals that you've turned into humans, is that right? That's why we have these skills. We're animals. You turned us into people to use us? My loyal performance. Lied to us! Are they going to be monkeys? I gave you the greatest gift of all. The gift of the spotlight. That wasn't your choice to make. No, it wasn't his choice. <laughs> Hello. 
They will tear you apart, those monkeys, though. They're aggressive little shits. How come they've not all turned into animals yet? Oh, it just does it slowly. Okay. Fair enough. Hey. <laughs> so what happened to Ace? Was Ace like their pet dog or something? <gasps> oh. That's why he's got memories of the family because he's one of the pets that the ink uh, the innkeeper, the ringmaster, ringleader stole. Right. It's him. He's back. Oh, look, he's a cute little doggo. Oh. Do you have a talent? A special gift? Where did it come from? Just maybe. That gift came from your true form. What if deep down, you too were once an animal? <laughs> that was actually a lot more interesting than I expected it to be. I know that sounds really weird, but with two part episodes of shows, when there's a good half, there's normally a bad half. Like I said at the end of Sideshow Part 1. So I was nervous because I enjoyed Part 1. And I thought maybe the, the Part 2 would let me down. But it didn't. And I think that's because all the twists I didn't guess. So I had a feeling it might turn out to be that the ringleader's a good guy all along. And luckily it didn't. He's actually a bad person. Which I liked because he was so creepy. That if we then have to believe that he's a good guy, it's sometimes quite a hard twist to pull off. Like when they turn good guys into bad guys in TV shows, sometimes the twist is great, but the actual execution is really bad. And we then have to believe that they've been lying all this time. So the fact that this ringleader turned out to be evil, I really liked because he was so creepy all the time. Really got bad vibes off him. But then the big twist about the fact that they're all actually animals was not expecting whatsoever. I thought that maybe he'd just kidnap them all as kids wipe the memories so that no one remembers, wipe the memories of the family so they don't remember, and then just use them in his circus to get money. So the twist that they're actually all animals was actually made sense. And it was nice that it meant that all their abilities came from the animals that they were. So the strong man was a bear, the goofy guys that do all the, like the acrobatics are monkeys, the boy who can smell everything is a dog. That actually makes a lot of sense and is a really smart idea. And I'm glad they got a happy ending because you could argue what's the better life. Like, at the end of the day, he gave them a proper life. But it's not a life they chose. So what right does he have to decide, you know, whether they're humans or not? So the fact that at least Ace in particular chose to go back to his normal life was a nice ending for me because he wanted to be what he was and what he was was a dog. And that it then slotted into place like his memories were from the family and yeah, overall, I'm actually really impressed with that season finale. As a two-part episode, I really enjoyed it. It had a good message. Again, like all creeps out do, they have a message they want to put across. And this one is about being yourself and being who you are. And it's nobody else's right to make you something you're not. And all that. So, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really fun. Really, really fun episode, actually. I'm, I'm impressed with that two-part finale. I'm glad it ended on a high note because, you know, you never want the season to end on a crappy episode. So they've done well by leaving the good one to the end. Is it my favourite one? Well, you'll have to tune in next week to find out because that's when I'm going to do my ranking of all 13 episodes. Now, as always, guys, my name is Scott. I hope you're doing well and taking care of yourselves. There's some more videos to my right that you might be interested in taking a look at. And subscribe if you enjoyed this reaction. Leave some comments down below that we can talk about. And thank you for watching, guys.